Do you need how to find the molecular mass of potassium iodide? Well, my friend, you've come to the right place. I'm going to teach it to you in about a minute. Here we go. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements I see in the compound. So we have potassium and we have iodine. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see any subscripts, assume that there is a 1 there. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes in. So let's take a look. So here's the mass of potassium, 39.1. Mass of iodine is 126.9. So let's write them on down. So we got one, uh, 39, 39.10, and then we have 126.90. Then we're going to find the total mass of the elements. So we multiply this row on across to find that. So this is going to be 39, 39.10. And then iodine is going to be 126.90. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, we just simply add up this column together. Easy peasy, right? So this is 166. And the units down here are basically AMU, because we're finding the atomic mass unit, because we're finding molecular mass. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this video helps, and if it did, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.